Hello and welcome to this Forex preview at XM.com. We'll be discussing the upcoming Bank of England meeting on Thursday and the potential reaction in the pound. I'm Maria Pachardes and joining me is lead investment analyst Rafi Boyajian. So Rafi, after the funeral of the late Queen Elizabeth II and the completion of a 10-day mourning period, life in the UK is returning to normal and policymakers at the Bank of England must face a dilemma regarding how quickly they should tighten monetary policy. Is the bank likely to hike by another 50 basis points this time, or do you think they'll go for a larger hike? Well, Maria, that's what everyone's trying to uh, decide right now, what the bank is going to do, because um, uh, I think there's a very good chance that they will uh, go for 50 basis points. Uh, 75 basis points, on the other hand, uh, is certainly not a done deal uh, because we still have quite a bit of division uh, among uh, MPC members. Uh, there's still some members uh, that uh, think that uh, caution is needed given that the UK economy uh, could potentially be uh, in a technical recession right now because uh, we did get GDP contracting in the second quarter uh, and uh, looking at the flash PMIs we could well see another contraction in the third quarter. In fact we do have uh, the latest flash PMIs coming out on Friday so they're expected to show that the UK economy uh, likely contracted uh, in August uh, and then when we uh, see what's happened uh, in September uh, with, the, with the Queen's death uh, and the fact that there was a 10-day mourning period uh, and uh, bank holiday uh, to observe uh, uh, the Queen's funeral, that's likely to shave uh, something off GDP. So uh, there's a strong chance that the UK is already in technical recession. Uh, but uh, there's one consideration uh, that will also be weighing on policy policymakers' minds, and that's the exchange rate, because uh, sterling really has uh, fallen quite a bit. Um, in, even over the past months, it's actually uh, declined quite dramatically, and year-to-date, its losses uh, exceed 15% against the US dollar, uh, and that only makes the inflation problem worse, uh, because a weak exchange rate, um, basically, it makes um, imports uh, more expensive. Uh, so th this, this, this is what might sway policymakers' minds to uh, opt for 75 basis point rate hike uh, in, um, in September. But of course, um, uh, it's still, there's still quite a bit of uncertainty around the decision. Uh, and not just that, we're going to have to wait and see also uh, what the language is going to be in the statement. That will also be quite important. So if policymakers do end up going with a larger move on Thursday, what reaction might we see in the pound? Well, I think that should uh, provide some support uh, to sterling, uh, and in, both in terms of the size of the hike and uh, the tone of the statement, whether it's going to be a hawkish hike or it's going to be a dovish hike that we're going to get on Thursday. Uh, but the other thing that investors will be watching this week uh, is the uh, the mini budget that's going to be announced by the new government on Friday, uh, because the government, uh, we already of course had uh, that, those, uh, that energy package, uh, which was really quite significant. I think um, it was, uh, it could amount to 150 billion uh, pounds uh, and then uh, we're expected to get an announcement on tax cuts amounting to 30 billion pounds uh, so that's really uh, quite a big uh, fiscal boost to the economy uh, but uh, all of that isn't really doing much in terms of helping uh, sterling because uh, investors are worried about the UK's mounting uh, debt level. Uh, they think that based on the, you know the, the, what we know already, uh, that the, the government isn't really planning on finding uh, in terms of financing the tax cuts other than uh, through borrowing. Uh, that could might that could well mean higher taxes uh, way in the future, uh, and that you know uh, that's a concern for investors. Uh, so you know whether we get. Uh, you know, in terms of how much of a boost we're going to get on from Friday's uh, emergency budget uh, and what those fiscal uh, plans are going to be exactly, uh, that I think that will also be quite significant uh, in terms of whether or not investors are going to start to feel a bit more optimistic about the pound. Rafi, thanks so much. And thanks for joining us at XM.com.